Hi, hello. Today we are going to talk about the first question about topological sort that will be course schedule. Let's see what this question is all about. All right. So our flow of discussion will be as below. First, we will understand the question. Then we will identify the problem. Then what coding pattern we can use for. And then we will see if we're using that coding pattern, how we will solve the question. Now let's understand the question. We will give you a number of courses and array of prerequisites. Array of prerequisites will be like this. We will say if you want to complete course A, before that you must have to complete course B. So A is a target and B is prerequisite. So in case of multiple prerequisites, you will get another like A and C. In that case, you have to complete both B and C before doing course A. And all these courses are labeled from, like if I'm talking about the labeling, so they are labeled from 0 to n minus 1, n minus mean number of courses minus 1. For the sake of example, I can say I have number of courses 4, and I'm saying to complete course 1, you must have to complete course 0 before, and to complete course 3, you must have to complete course 1, and also you have to complete course 2 before that. Now you can see we have four courses, 0, 1, 2, 3, which are given, and we are given array of prerequisites, and they are asking, you have to tell, can we complete the courses? Now that's the whole question. Now we'll go and identify the problem. So once you hear the whole question, you understand the question, after that, you get one concept that there is some thought of dependency. There is a talking of dependency or priority that can lead the whole discussion that, oh, right, we can go with some topological sort. Now go for the other points. Can I convert this whole problem into a DAG or graph? Like we can make the mapping of courses with the, like, with the nodes. Let's do that. We can say node 0, we have node 1, we have, let's suppose, node 2, we can make node 3, and this array of prerequisites is explaining the dependency that they are saying to complete course 1, you must have to complete course 0 before that. So, all right, can we represent this dependency using arrows? Yeah. So, 0 must be done before and after that you have to complete course 1. In this point here you can see to complete course 3 you must have to complete course 1. I can represent it like that. And for the third one you can see to complete course 3 you have to complete course 2. I can represent it like this. Now the question is they're saying can you can we complete the courses? So this triggers the linear ordering of the courses. When we can say yeah we can complete all courses when we can linearly order them, let's suppose I can say 0 and 1 or something and something. So if I can linearly order them, then I can say I can complete all courses. So that is the basis to complete all courses. So we got two points. The first, so first we get the sense that in this question there is a concept of dependency and priorities then we start thinking okay can we map the whole question into a graph and particularly into a DAG directed acyclic graph and then we are thinking all right what they're asking for they're asking that can we linearly order all courses in other words they're saying can we complete the courses so yeah we can approach this question using topological sorting now let's go to the point three what will be our approach and I'm going to use Kahn's algorithm. And we have already studied at how Kahn's algorithm work. So I'm saying, the first I will take some data structure, which will mention the in degree of each course. So we have four courses in this example. I can take a size of four of array, let's suppose. I can use their indices as their label. So for the indices, I can say zero, one, two, three. So we have four courses and their labels are mentioned as indices of array. And I can use, I can put the value here, which will be number of prerequisites. So I can see from from this uh, from this question, like even I can see from this graph, pretty simple that how many in degrees this node has, like how many number of arrows are coming in to this node 
we we can't see anyone so it has zero in degree but if you look at the question in this question you can see that this score zero is not mentioned here so it means that it doesn't have any prerequisites so we can mention zero here now we can proceed and fill the map here I can see that for for node one we have one degree incoming I can mention one for subject for course two we can see there is no in degree so we can mention zero and for three I can see there are two in degrees which is coming to three I can mention that here after getting this in degree what the step we have to do I have to prepare some list where I can see oh, which courses I can pick and I can start working so I will say these are open courses so I can see from this in degree array that there are two open courses I can pick let's suppose I can pick two and I can pick zero so these two I can just pick and start reading and when we were talking about cons algorithm I already mentioned that okay we will pick this subject one by one and we will put that in an answer array or list that could be a list and that will be also a list or queue you can take so we'll pick a subject and let's suppose I will pick two from here and I will put that in this order list that will be our answer and once we sub we study that course we will go further down and we will say all right now we have studied course two what further action we have to do now we are going to use either a loop or I can use recursion to to further process or I can use forward left to process further so what we have to process I have to say I have subject I have studied course 2 now in degree you have to minus their dependency and then if there is any subject ready to study next I should put that in the open courses here so what I'm saying the flow will be like that so once I sub I studied a course I will say from prerequisite what you have prereq array of prerequisites find all those courses in a loop which have prerequisite 2 so if they have prerequisite 2 after looping all of that you have to update in degree so in degree in this case will be which we have here in the prerequisite I found that which courses have two as their prerequisite which I have already studied so I will come here and I will minus from that so I'll take a decision from here and I will minus from in degree so I will see that two was a prerequisite in this example you can see two was a prerequisite of three so from three I'm going to minus one so I'll come here and I will minus one from from that so I will say okay it's minus one and if and and I'll also will try to find that if there is any other course which got uh, their in degree equal to zero if there will be anyone which have their in degree zero mean they're open to study now we will put that in this list so we will keep on doing that flow and we will solve the question but in this question they're not asking about the order so we don't need that order list here rather what we can do I can pick a simple uh, in that case I can use a variable which will say completed courses and that completed courses I can pass each time in a recursion let's suppose I complete course 2 so I will say I complete course 2 so update this uh, completed courses I complete course 1 update that I can pass this completed course using recursion or I can use a variable in object oriented or other languages and I can keep on updating in that loop this variable so our flow I can just repeat again which will be very simple I will say that first we will make an in degree where I will fill all those courses with their in degree then I will go there and I will pick some number of courses which are ready to study and I will pick the first one and I will say oh I studied that and I will update the variable which will be completed courses then I will loop or do the recursion and from prerequisites array of prerequisites which they have given here I will take the decision that okay if I have sub I have completed course 2 so what other courses which have 2 as their prerequisite so I can update this in degree 
So I will update that once it we will find some new course whose prerequisites are equal to zero now. We will pick them and put them here. So once we'll put them here, so it means they are open courses, they're ready to study, and we can keep on moving forward. And finally, we will take the decision that, all oh, right, I have completed these courses, let's suppose 10 or 20, are they equal to the number of courses what they have given? So it will tell that, or can we study all courses or no? Finally, I can mention here that I have mentioned Tarjan strongly connected component here. I can also use this to find if we have strongly con connected components here or no. So instead of using topological sort, I can use that. But instead of going to implement this, I will better say, let's go with the topological sort. And now let's go for the code. Welcome back. Now we know that we had to solve this question using topological sort and the approach will be again the same. First, we are going to get the in degree and for in degree, I'm going to take an array. I will say the size of this array will be num courses and I'm going to fill it with zero. Next, I will say from prerequisite, I will fill this in degree that, okay, how many prerequisites you have, I will just add them in this in degree with their indices. So I'm saying, prerequisite for each and I pick that I say for in degree at for this particle course increment their prerequisite by one next I'm going to say find all those courses which are open to study so how we will know we will find all those courses which are open to study from pre in degree which have their in degree value equal to zero so I'm saying in degree dot zip with index and I'm going to say filter and for each of any scores which have the value equal to zero means they have in degree equal to zero I will just map them and get their indexes so in simple I pick all those courses which have their in degree equal to zero here I'm going to say I'm going to use recursion and I, I'm, I'm expecting that if we have our let's suppose I can make a function I can say may finish and I can send it to open to study that initial list which has initially only those courses which have their in degree equal to zero and with each recursion I'm going to update that and also I say and the completed course is equal to zero. So I have never completed yet any course. Write that function. So I say def may finish. And here I will say open to study or what we are going to use is a list of end and completed courses is also an end. And I'm expecting that this function should return boolean and the decision will be taken like this if I will say if open to study is empty like we haven't any subject any course that we have to pick and start studying if there is nothing that moment we have to ask one question that is the completed courses completed courses is equal to our the, the number of courses that was total number of courses so we are saying can, have we completed all the courses or no if not so it means that in the else part what we are saying that open to study have some courses which we have to pick and we have to study so I will pick the first one I will say studied course I pick open to study dot head so I pick the first one now what I'm saying I'm going to do the same operation that what we have discussed that from prerequisites prerequisites I'm going to say with filter from X I'm saying X if you have studied course so what I wrote here I'm saying from prerequisite pick all those courses which have studied course as their prerequisites 
So this is what I have written as a filter. Now I'm going to do another operation on it. I'm saying map and for all those courses which have studied course as their prerequisite, pick their first index, so it means pick them and fold left with uh, rest of open to study courses. So I'm saying open to study dot tail. So tail. And here, once I tail that here, I'm going to pattern match. I'm saying remainder open to study courses and the new and that course which have studied course as the prerequisite because we have to update in degree for that particular uh, course. In this case, come on. Now, once I have this, what I'm going to do, I'm saying in degree. So I'm going to update that. So for this course, just decrement one. Once I decrement that, now I am going, going to ask the same question. Once I decrement your prerequisite, now are you open? So this question I'm saying if in degree for that course is equal to zero, if it is open, in that case, you should add this course as a preview. You, you have to append this course to remaining open to study courses. If it is not, if it has still other dependencies in, cat, in that case, just keep on iterating on the remaining open to study courses. And that's it. So this, this whole code is actually returning us a new open to study courses. So what we did in this whole code snippet, we up to here, we are saying, find all those courses from prerequisites which have studied course as their prerequisite and then from here to here what we did we did one operation first we decrement that course prerequisites from in degree and we asked the question are you open to study or not and finally we get the new open to study and that's it finally we can just make a recursive call tail recursive call rather for me finish this function and i can send new open to study and i can just say completed courses plus one because we have completed one more course so it that recursive call will keep on iterating with with each call and finally once we have open to study course is empty which is the base case and finally we will ask the question if the completed course is equal to number of courses that will give the answer that's it let's run the code and see if it works all right i have make a mistake instead of putting this arrow sign here i put the curly brace let's run the code again that's it. Let's see you in the next video. Bye.